calling Social Security Administration. How may I help you today? I got a voicemail to call this number. I just got home. All right. So when did you receive that voicemail? 2.30. All right. And what was it about? Like, do you have any knowledge about the voicemail, sir? No, nah, I just said something fraudulent on my Social Security number. I don't know what they're talking about. All right. So don't worry. Let me just check it. All right. Okay. So, can you identify and verify me with your social security number for which you are calling us back so that I can check on my system what's going on with your social? It's 221-48-4737. Two, two, one, four, four, seven, seven. Four, seven, seven. All right. So, how old are you? What's the date of birth? My date of birth is 4-12-69. 69. Yes. It's April 12-69? Yeah. All right, sir. Now, can you just be on the line for a few moments? Let me just grab your file from my system. Okay. I appreciate it, sir. All right. Thank you for holding the line. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Now, sir, can I have the last name? Russell. R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -L. Uh, what's your first name, sir? Sue. S-U-E. Sue. So, can I call you, Mr. Sue? Is that okay for you? No, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. All right. Now, Mr. Su, the reason behind this call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action or social security number. We have got an official order from the federal courthouse to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. So do you have any knowledge about this, Mr. Su? I don't have a clue what the hell you're even talking about. I don't know. All right. Let me explain you, Mr. Su. It may be possible that someone is using your information and doing those kind of criminal activities in the state of Texas without your knowledge. So do you suspect anyone? I'm in Delaware. I'm sorry? I live in Delaware. I don't live in Texas. No, no, no. I'm saying that someone is using your information without your knowledge. So do you suspect anyone that who can use your information like your neighbor, someone from your family member? Like a friend, your relative? Well, I got one guy that might, I don't know, I'm not too sure of him. All right. Now, sir, the information which I'm going to provide you is very confidential and sensitive in nature, all right? So I want you to write down some information before I go ahead and give out the confidential information. So do you have a piece of paper and a pen with you? So I request you to grab a piece of a paper and a pen handy so that you can write down some information which will be helpful to you, sir, in the future. Okay, go ahead. I got it. All right. So are you ready? Yeah. All right, sir. Now, first of all, write down my name. This is Stephen Paul. Stephen who? Stephen Paul. It's P-A-U-L. P like Papa. A-U-L. Okay, I got it. A-U-L. Paul. Yeah. All right. Now, write down my federal employee ID number. My federal employee ID is SSA. Yeah. With the number 585039. Okay. Now write on your case ID number, which is very important for you. That is DC. Yeah. With the number 90306259. Okay. What do I do with DC? You got my name. What I need. No, your case ID number. Let me explain. You got my name. You got my federal employee ID number. All right. Right. Now you got your case ID number. The case ID number is very important for you. All right. So now let me go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. I would request you, sir, not to interrupt me in between while I'm reading your case information. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a fair and enough chance once I have done. So is it okay for you? Well, I don't know if I got a question. I've got to ask it. I don't know what you're even talking about here. I don't even know what's going on. Sir, I'm talking about your social that has been compromised, all right? Someone is using your social and doing some kind of criminal activities. So right. your social has been found, your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. We are not saying that it's you who have done these criminal activities, but the evidence which we got is on your name. So you are the primary suspect for us at this time, all right? And we are oh, taking no, this case not to right. the FBI headquarters. I'm sorry? Okay, go ahead. I said, no, it's not all right. I'm not a suspect. What the hell? I didn't do anything. 
you didn't do anything, all right? I understand, sir. So let me just finish my part, all right? Let me explain you okay, all the... Okay, do all your the part, and then... Your okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Now, the investigation started when we have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contains some blood and drug residues inside it. Hence, after the investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name under your personal social information. There are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rowlett was raided by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately, sir, there was no one inside the residence, but we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. Those entire paperwork has your name on it, thousand of dollar has been wired from those bank accounts locally and internationally which totally seems suspicious to us so we as a social security administration of the state of texas has filed case against you for drug trafficking as well as money what now, Mr. a case Andrew, against me what wait yeah i got a question how can you put a case against me for drug trafficking I understand, sir. I completely understand. Uh, as I told you, we are not saying it's you. All right? Well, you just said there's a case against me. What, what the heck? I understand, sir. So don't worry. Let me explain all the details to you, all right? Yeah, okay. As they are using your social, all right? They are using, if someone is using your social and doing those kind of criminal activities without your knowledge on your name, all right? Why we are saying it's not you and someone else is doing this is because we have checked your past record and we have found that your banking contains genuine record and your social have no other complaint in the past, sir. That's the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. And as I told you that the evidence at this point of time which we have is on your name, that's the reason. Now, if you agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant right. on hold, as we have to find the real culprit, all right, who is using your information and doing those kind of criminal activities. So, Mr. Andrew, what is your intention? I'm sorry, Mr. Russell, what is your intention towards this case file, which is going to be executed once this line gets disconnected? Do you want to help the Department of Treasury in this case to find the real culprit who is using your information? What am I going to do to find him? I'm not going to Texas to look for him. No, 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 no. What we are going to do, Mr. Uh, Russell, simply we are going to suspend your old social from your name and we are going to generate a new social number for you, all right? A new social number will be allotted to you within the next 24 hours. And one of a federal, once your name has been cleared from this case, then... One of our federal agents, his name is Jason Green, he's going to come to your doorstep with all the do legal documentation, with your clearance letter, and with your new social security what? number. But suspending your old social yeah. means whenever the culprit is going to use it in the future, is going to use your old social in the future, we can simply track him down and we can easily catch him. So that's the reason we are suspending your social. Why don't you just go catch him anyway? Why don't you just go catch him without doing anything with me i didn't do anything just go catch the right guy you have not done anything sir we, i know have i haven't done anything. don't worry i, I am worried anything, but don't worry so just answer me do you want to help the department of treasury to find the real culprit what do you want yes, me to do no. to help you i said i'm not going to texas to look for this guy i'm not going anywhere you to don't look have to for go somebody anywhere. you don't have to go I'm not anywhere hunting oh, anybody. I'm, not a, I'm not Hold a i'm not a bound i'm not a bounty Mr. hunter Russell? Mr. Russell, you don't have to go anywhere. One of our federal agents is going to come to your doorstep with all the legal documentation on your time convenience. Well, right? let him come. Okay, when's he coming? Once your name has been clear from this case. Okay, clear my name, send him over. I, what's a big deal? All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect your call to the one of the DEA officers, Drug Enforcement Administration, who is the authorized person in the car. All right. Hello? Where'd you go, sir? Hello? Coming I'm in so, so, I'm in so, 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 I'm in so. So, before I provide you with that information, what's going on with your social security number, can you repeat out all those information which I've provided you? Why'd you forget it? Social Security Administration, how can I help? Yeah, I was talking to uh, Stephen Paul. 
and I got disconnected. He was going to transfer me, and I think he pushed the wrong button. Okay, no problem. And who am I speaking to? This is Sue Russell. Okay, okay. Just hold the line. Let me transfer your call to, to the office, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hi, your call is in transfer to Stephen Paul. May I know who I'm speaking with? Yeah, that's Sue Russell. I don't know. You're going to transfer me, and then we got disconnected. Yes, yeah, so we got disconnected. I thought that you just hang up the call. No, I didn't hang up. I don't want to get in trouble. I know. All right, sir. So now, sir, just be on the line for a few moments. Huh? Let me just connect your call to one of the DE officers, all right? Drug Enforcement Administration, okay. who is the authorized person in regard with your case. Okay, push just the right. be on the line for, for a few moments. Push the right button this time, please. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you for holding the line. Your line goes transferred to the senior officer from the Drug Enforcement Administration. This is Preston Elgort speaking. How can I help you today? I, I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry. My name is Preston. My first name is Preston. My middle initial is Alison Lima. My last name is Greb, sir. Greb? C-R-E-B-B? No, no, no. It's Greb. G-R-U-B-B-S. Yes. Okay. I got it. Okay. So, yes, how can I help you today, sir? I, I don't know. He transferred me to you. Uh, Stephen Paul transferred me to you. Uh, okay, okay. Something uh, about a car in but, Texas and some shit. I don't know what he was talking about. Nothing to do with me and drugs and a car. and uh, They raided a house, and I don't know what's going on. Okay. So, first of all, uh, can I have your first name and your last name and the case ID number? My first name is Sue. Mm -hmm. last, last name is Russell, R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -S -S -E okay. Do you have any kind of middle name or middle initial, Mr. Russell? Yes, Carol. C. Carol, right? Okay. Right. So, uh, help me out with the case ID number, sir. DC-903-0625. 0264, all right. Yep. Well, I believe the last four digits of your social is seven, uh, 4737, right? That's it. Okay. Well, here I can see that your information is getting involved in drug trafficking and money laundering. That's what activities. the other guy so, said. That's what the other guy said. I'm not doing yeah, nothing so, wrong. I'm in Delaware. Okay. See, I would like to know, first of all, that how your information is getting involved in this kind of criminal activity. Did you ever lost any of your documentation anywhere? any kind of paperwork related to your social before or how your information is getting involved in this kind of big mess, sir? Well, I, I told uh, Stephen there that I don't know, there's one guy that I don't trust too much that could get it. I don't know if he got a hold of it or not. Okay, and who is that particular guy? Otis Dorksnarfer. Lives down the street. That's your, uh, do you know that particular person? Yeah, he's a neighbor. Otis Dorksnarfer. It's Neighbor, okay. You don't. You're suspecting on your neighbor then. Well, yeah. He's the only guy. He's got a key to the house because they let him use my computer. And then he looks at granny porn on the computer, and who knows if he got into my stuff and found my social security number. But I don't trust the guy, and I'm going to take the key away from him and hit him in the head with a baseball bat. Okay. Hey, first of all, we can talk about it later on, but first of all, we have to find it out that if you're not the one who's saying this, then where we are looking and what's the big problem? Huh? All right? Uh, you're first talking, of all, sir... You're uh, going too fast. I can't, I can't keep up with you. Okay. Okay. I will, I will, I will talk slowly. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to know that before I try to go ahead and have a big conversation, I would like to know that did you understand about this case totally, whatever the previous officer tried to explain you, or you still need an explanation from my oh. end in order to understand the case? I understand the case, but I didn't do it. I understand everything, so, but I didn't you do know, it. So, 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 uh, Russell, you know that we found a car, first of all, which was rented under your name and your personal number, and after that, we also found an address related to the car, and one of the addresses lead us to the state of Pennsylvania, to the city of Rowlett. There was an apartment, said it was which was rented. Yeah, first of all, we found a car in the state of Texas, in the city of El Paso. Get that duck out of the house, will ya? The car abandoned in the south wait a minute, hold, on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Get that duck outside. Okay. Billy Bob, get that duck outside. 
Ow. So why don't you Ow. come to us? All right. Okay. Why don't you come to a quiet place and then? Huh? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello, uh, Mr. Grubbs? Hello. No one is available to take your call at this time. Please leave a message after the tone. Please tell Preston Grubbs to go fuck a goat. Thank you.